If you don't already have old money, you can't get it. A freshly acquired fortune is, by definition, new money. Buy all the seventh homes, helicopters, and significant others you like, but those who bemoan estate taxes over braised ostrich or dove will still think you're the weirdo. Money can't buy pedigree, although it can buy a pedigreed Mercedes Benz. High dignified looks, old money cabin, quiet, smooth, spacious cargo hold. Lowe's squishy brick pedal, isolated steering feel, we don't own one. The E-Class Wagon's lineage stretches back to the 1970s, and the redesigned, W213 generation model continues to represent the discerning option in the Mercedes lineup. In our crossover crazed world, it's contrarian sans irony, like a smoking jacket worn not in vogue but because the wearer has smoked Cubans since the Taft administration. Only a small cloister of Americans each year, said to be among Mercedes-Benz's richest and most loyal customers here, opt for the A-Class wagon instead of nouveau riche guigens or predictable classes. That taste lends the station wagon its quiet confidence, its air of amply nourished bank accounts. Not so low-key looks Mercedes-Benz's stylists seem to have forgotten the E-400s under the radar mission, though. Their addition of more roof and glass to the stoic class sedan streamlines the profile into a tidy bustle graced by two wide, thin lamps seemingly pulled from Benz's coupes. The quietly, meltingly lovely result is longer and lower than its predecessor and arguably prettier than Volvo's V90 wagon. It also can hold 35 cubic feet of chattels behind the second row seats, 22 more cubes than fit in the A-class sedan's trunk. We used that space, which expands to 57 cubic feet with the rear seats folded flat, to move an apartment's worth of boxed kitchen and living room items. For carrying smaller passengers in a pinch, a rear-facing third row seat deploys from the trunk floor. With these changes and a twin-turbocharged V6 engine replacing the old wagon's 3.5-litre V6, the E-400 is 382 pounds heavier than the four-cylinder. Our wheel drive E300. The E400 wagon has formatic all wheel drive as standard. Typically, such weight gain would earn a condemnation from us. Here, it adds a sense of classic Mercedes heft, a satisfying expression of solidity that the dainty E300 nears but can't quite equal. Power that suffices the V6 is the same engine that powers the AM Badge D43 sedan that won our latest comparison test of mid-size sports sedans, albeit detuned to 329 horsepower from 396. It erases our complaints about the 241 horsepower E300 spokiness, shaving 1.4 seconds from the sedan's 0 to 60 mph time and providing strain-free passing power and a better sound drag. For now, it is exclusive to the e-wagon, coupe, and convertible. Next year, Mercedes-Benz plans to add an E400 to the sedan range. Unsurprisingly, the E400 wagon drives much like the Ultra's Mover class sedan. With the must-have $1,900 air springs and adjustable dampers, the Benz wafts down the road on a magic carpet of comfort and solitude. As if this needed enhancing, Mercedes offers a $1,100 acoustic comfort package that quiets the wagon even further with thicker window glass and additional sound attenuation throughout the cabin. In practice, it virtually eliminates the interior booming over road imperfections common to wagons and SUVs in which the cargo hold is open to the cabin. Stiffer suspension settings and sportier throttle and transmission calibrations are a flick of a center console switch away, although none truly transform the comfort-driven experience. In the hardiest sport plus driving mode, the 9-speed automatic transmission cracks off earnest downshifts and holds lower gears longer but the suspension still allows the nose to gently bob up and down under hard braking and acceleration. In every driving mode, the steering is isolated and the brake pedal squishy. That's not to say the E400 isn't capable. Our test car was outfitted in sports regalia, which replaces the no-cost luxury trim levels hood ornament and traditional grille with a three-pointed star embedded in a more aggressive grille. Choosing the sport model also nets you different wheels, bumpers, side skirts, 
and a slightly lowered suspension. Fitted with 18-inch summer tires, the E400 recorded an impressive 0.87 grams of grip on the skid pad and a sport sedan like 156 foot stop from 70 miles per hour rears in equipped leave the dynamism, as the Germans call it, to the upcoming Jaguar XF Sport Brake or the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo. Or the 603 horsepower, trust funskin wheeled Mercedes AMG E63 S wagon. Set the E400 to its default comfort mode and request one of eight different massages, including one that alternately jiggles each side of your rear end to enhance blood flow on long drives. Crossing the country? Definitely go for the high intensity setting. Those chairs are included with the $11,200 Premium 3 package, which is more expensive and better than Premium 1 or 2. It adds a self parking system, a 360 degree camera keyless entry and push-button ignition, ambient interior lighting, a Burmester audio system, adaptive LED headlights with automatic high beams, heated front seats, a cabin perfuming system, sunshades for each rear window, blind spot monitoring, Mercedes-Benz's semi-autonomous driving technologies, a head-up display, and even more. Checking the Premium 3 box also is the only way to unlock the optional $850 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster that matches the standard 12.3-inch central dashboard display. We suggest doing this, because the screen and its graphics are gorgeous, even if the menus are only superficially intuitive. Diving deeper into the system's nooks and crannies takes more concentration, whether using the steering wheel touchpads the center console rotary knob, the touchpad atop that knob, the dashboard buttons, or the system's voice controls. Other options on our test car included the $450 ventilation function for the front seats, $620 heated rear seats, the $600 warmth and comfort package, heated armrests and steering wheel, the $1,090 panoramic sunroof and $720 Piedmont green metallic paint. The $4,900 quilted macchiato beige and saddle brown Napa leather interior option and $1,300 striped magnolia wood trim are not only sumptuous, they endow the E400's cabin with the relaxing ambience of a yacht. It is a divine environment. Considering all of this, the Benz's price could have six digits and we'd shrug and agree. Mercedes instead raises the curtain at a vaguely attainable $63,225. Our fully loaded example came to $88,405. If there's a time or a place for suggesting that an expensive car's price seems too low, it is here. Wealth impersonator and 1980s icon Ferris Bueller said it best even if he was describing a Ferrari, it is so choice. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up.